Hi everyone, welcome back to the next video in the Excel automation series. Let's see our agenda for today. Today we are going to discuss about how do we read cell in an Excel. How do we read a cell which is having formula in it and we are going to see how we can use it in the further automation. And at then we are going to see how do we write cell or write a formula in the Excel. And all of this we are going to see with the help of our demonstration. To start with, let's come back to the UiPath Studio. So I have main.xml and I have the Excel application scope in it. So first thing first, let's see the Excel which we have placed. So it's available in the Excel and the sample Excel.xlsx. Inside the Excel, this is the file. Let me double click and open this file. So as of now, I will just delete the sheet 2 from here. I have all this data available in sheet 1 okay and we are going to see how we can read the particular cell value from the UiPath studio so let's say I want to read this cell value 2146 and the cell number is E11 so we can go back to UiPath studio we'll go back to activities we'll type here read cell okay read cell so we have two read cells one is for the excel application scope and the other is for the workbook so if I just drag the Excel application one outside the this scope, it will give me an error saying that this is valid only inside the Excel application scope. Okay, so since we are using the Excel application scope, I have passed this URL here. Now the next thing is to drag and drop the read cell activity. Let's check the property for read cells. So we have the cell which we want to read, the sheet name, and there is something called preserve formatting. So let's go back to the sheet. The sheet we want to read is the sheet one so i'll leave that to the default setting now the cell we want to read the value for so let's say we want to read this value so the cell is e11 so we go here and type the value as e11 okay so now talking about the result if i hit ctrl k and set a variable let's say where okay so by default the type will be string but as you will see this value this is something rupees 2146 and this is not actually a string and i want to retain this rupees also so how can i do it both the ways so let's see so if i go ahead and store it as string okay and now if i go ahead and take a right line type the where here and let's try to run this flow so we have encountered an exception which says the string converter cannot convert from system dot double because this guy is system dot double and we are trying to assign it to a string variable so when we are not sure about what property we should use here and what would be the type of variable we can simply go ahead and change it to the generic value now when we change the variable type to a generic value it means that it can accommodate any of the data type that can be further converted to the specific data type let's say string integer let's go ahead and run the file okay let's go back to the output and i can see i i was able to get the cell value 2146 okay but if you will see here there was rupees written in front of it and let's say for the further automation i require this formatting to be preserved so for that option what i have to do is i have to go to the read cell again go to the properties and check this option preserve formatting so preserve formatting is if i just hover over it you can read preserve the format as displayed in the cell that is basically for the currency date etc okay let's save the automation run the file go to the output and now if you will see we were able to successfully retain uh, retain the formatting uh, currency from the cell so, so this is how we use read cell in uipath studio now let us see one more scenario where we want to read the formula for a particular cell so if you'll see the excel sheet in front of me if i go to the column q2 so this is having a formula e2 minus f2 so e2 minus f2 this is just a simple formula in the real world business scenario this formula can be of more complex type or the complex one so now what we have to do let's say we have a scenario where we want to have this formula in uipath studio and i want to apply the same formula to some other column so how can we do that in uipath studio so let me just do it manually if i just copy this guy and Go here and hit paste paste it here and if you will see i was successfully able to 
copy the formula right so let's see how we can do the same thing in uipath studio i will just delete this extra column i just created save the excel go back to uipath studio i'll just delete this guy this guy okay and if i just go here and i type read cell so we have an activity called read cell formula let's drag and drop it to the excel application scope the same property if i go back here it has the same property like what would be the display name the cell sheet name and the formula okay so this is the output so now if you'll see we do not have something called preserve formatting definitely that does not make a sense here so sheet one and which cell we are having the formula so the formula is available in the cell q2 so i go back here and i just specify q2 hit control k in the formula control k and i'll just say formula okay and formula is variable is created here so when we talk about read cell formula this should be of type string so if you'll just hover over it you will see the out argument is of type string let's go ahead and print it so i take a right line right line and right here formula save the automation run the file let's go to the output and you will see i was successfully able to get the formula e2 minus f2 right so this is how we get the formula in the ui path okay so now talking about the next set of activity which is how about writing the data right so we have an activity similarly like read cell we have one more activity i'll just leave this to the default one okay we have something called write cell talking about write cell write cell is just a brother of read cell so read cell is used to read the cell value write cell on the other hand is used to write the value but if you'll see for reading we have two activities called read cell and read formula for writing we have only one activity let's see how to deal with the formulas now so if i go to the write cell i'll just go show a simple demo let's say i want to go to a sheet 2 and in the a1 cell i want to type my name i'll just save this okay let it run and let's just run the file okay so if i go back to the file so in the sheet 2 was not available bot has created the sheet 2 and it has written in the cell a1 so this is how the write cell work now let's try to write a formula in any of the cells so if i go back to the excel i have a formula in cell q2 which says e2 minus f2 let's say i go to the cell s2 and i want to write a formula if i go back to the your part studio in instead of my name now i just type the formula as e2 minus b2 okay and i attempt it to write on the cell s2 of sheet 1 okay let's try to run this automation so bot has finished the execution let's go back to the excel and if you'll see the direct exactly string was pasted e2 minus b2 because uipath was not able to understand that this is a formula so now how do we write a formula in uipath studio so for writing a formula we just have to put a equal to sign in front of the formula so whenever we put a equal to sign excel will treat this as a formula that's why we don't have a other activity which says write cell formula now let's try again and execute this flow Okay, so if i go back to the excel now if you will see the exact formula was written and since there was no value it has given the error okay let's try to put a valid formula okay so this guy is e2 minus f2 so i go back here and i'll just write e2 minus f2 save and run the file if i just extend this expanding it i got the actual formula as well as the value so this is how we write the cell data and the formula in the sheet okay so we have just seen that the read formula we were able to store that in a variable called formula and then what we can do in the later part of the automation we can use the same formula variable somewhat like this so if i just type the formula here okay so and i will just put a equal to double quotes because formula is a string and plus now and i am telling ui path to write the formula in let's say r2 okay r2 
so now let's see what is happening here so we are reading the formula from the cell q2 which is this guy q2 and we are telling ui path to write the formula first in the output panel using the right line and then we are telling ui path to write the same formula in the sheet one cell r2 and whenever the formula is dragged for the entire column ui path will automatically drag the formula in the r column as well let's see that in action i'll quickly save everything and run the automation okay let's go back to the excel and if you'll see the entire formula exactly is dragged to the entire column so this is how the right cell work so now let's say if i uh, write a formula where there is no data at all so does you have drags it or not let's just quickly test that thing by going to a sheet 2 and i'll just change this one to a1 a2 so what i'm telling you about you just read the formula from the sheet 1 q2 and then try the formula in sheet 2 in the cell a2 okay if i just go ahead and run the file execution is completed let's go back to the excel and in the sheet 2 the formula is there but since there was no value it is not dragged to the end and it is just sticking to the cell where we wrote the formula and if i go to the formula tab we can see the formula here so this is how the right cell and the right cell formula works in uipath studio that is all for this video to know more about read cell read cell formula and the right cell we can always visit docs.uipath.com i'll put the links in the description and we can refer whenever we are having some issues or let's say we want to know some of the properties about the read cell or the right cell or the read cell formula so thank you for watching and happy automation